What is up? It is the Dynasty Pylon Show uh, coming at you late as we get more Mark's barking or Braden's barking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right on cue. Uh, Mark, Mark is off to his concert, so we will right. not be seeing him. So, uh, who, who do you go see? I honestly don't know who tonight is. I know Dwight Yoakam is tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm missing football I, for that. A lot of people are raving around this these streets. Is Duran Duran? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. I tried to get an answer earlier, and then I I don't think they ever told me who they were seeing. So. Okay. All right. Um. So. Yeah, that that works. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> that works for now. Uh, all right. So, um, obviously we're gonna talk about the, like the game tomorrow a little bit, but we're not gonna dive much into it we're gonna mainly focus on our guillotine league that uh we kind of took us about a week to draft just kind of at a slow slower pace but uh we'll be talking about teams and then how we felt about their draft and recent moves that they've been doing because tomorrow i'll be opening it up as if it would be a regular season and then people can make moves left and right without being waivers in all my leagues so gotcha. um yeah um but as of now uh recent news um i guess you want to just repeat what you kind of had earlier yeah let me pull that up again real fast oh you're good um what was it uh, uh lamar jackson uh closing the window on friday for his contract extension so right right more than likely not getting one because I know he really wants that fully guaranteed money, and they're not really budging on that. What well, yo? I don't know. <clears throat> um, but he has to have one, right? Or, or well, so like, if he'll he's on the last year of his contract, right? So, so he can still play this season, and then they can tag him for the next. I think it's three seasons. I thought it was two, but I couldn't. Is be it wrong. only two? Yeah, I, I, I'll have to look into that one. Or Maybe two. they have to have it done by the third year. Otherwise, he's a free agent. But Right, and then it just increases yeah. each year. Yeah. So it gets, Well, because Washington did that with Kirk Cousins for at least two years. So Right, right. Um, but, yeah. There was, there, wasn't there like a tight end or receiver? They just Some team just recently did that, too. Was uh, it Dak? It was Dak, I'm, right? Dak went on the... He played his final, like he, ba- he's basically doing what Lamar was doing, was playing the final year. Then they gave him the, what, what, what are they? The, the tag? It? The, fr- the yeah, franchise, the franchise tag. tag. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and then I think that was the year he got hurt, if I recall right. And then yeah. that's when they so gave it was him the, the first contract year, after and then, that. Yeah. And then the well, second I think they gave year, him the contract after that, but yeah. After the second year, because they weren't sure if they should continue to play him after that injury. I think yeah, I it was, remember wasn't it? Man. Something like that. I don't know. It, it I, was, I it thought was that he, was I feel like that, I think he was playing on the franchise tag when he got hurt, and then I think there was so much backlash to like Jerry Jones and stuff like that that they gave him a contract. It might not have been what he was wanting exactly, but at the time, though, he was the highest paid, wasn't he not? Uh, if not, he was one of the highest. Paid. Yeah, he he was up there. So, um, but uh, either way, though, I'm I'm look. Tomorrow we got football. Tomorrow is going to be yeah, less than twenty four like, hours now. Yes, everything that that's happening, like everything we've been talking about, is happening tomorrow. Everything's happening for real. Your stats and everything are going to happen for real by Sunday. People are already going to be crying. <laughs> If they <laughs> lost their week one already. <laughs> right. Uh, Tomorrow is going to be a crazy day. Um, But me, me and Mark are going to talk about uh, the Bills and the Rams for sure deeply tomorrow. We're probably going to do an uh, entire schedule tomorrow, uh, just like we used to do in our lunch hours. Um, I don't know how much we'll do that because I know we did the two-parters last year, I think. We did the schedule. We showed both. Like the entire schedule went through all the games on one day, and then talked about the Thursday game on the Thursday. I can't remember. Oh, well, I, I feel like, I think you did one for like waiver wires on. Well, we did that Tuesdays. Tuesday night for IDP. Yeah, and then 
Wednesday our regular show, and then I think Thursday lunch hour was the 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 main game that night. That night. Yeah, and I think Friday we ended up doing the rest of the scheduled games. Like we just talked about it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We just. We usually. Just I don't know. I'm usually not there for that. I am, but I'm not. You know. <laughs> well, I mean, you're you. What? Okay, so people, if if you're watching this wherever the hell you're at, um, if you're watching this and, and you see fast time, this this is the guy. This is the guy. He's yeah. he's there every show. He's he's a big <laughs> part of our show, but uh, he comes in whenever he can. But he's always busy. I mean, you just got off work, right? And then. Just mm-hmm. came onto the show, yeah. So yeah, pretty um, much. All right, dinner real fast. Came on here, so yeah. So thanks, man. Uh, yeah. So let's 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 uh, let's talk about our guillotine league. Um, and no, it's not a gill eighteen. It's guillotine. Yeah, like a karate gi, like the yeah, jacket don't. almost. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We've been telling you know Mark was doing it too, and I'm like, you know, it's I know. Him. You know, it's geeky. You would think him being from like the Southwest now, he could understand how it works. The double L's, man. It's yeah. the double L's. Like, you, exactly. Come on. Hey, what's up, Derpy? How you doing, dude? Uh, finally here. No, we just started. Yeah. So you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, we're just talking about how this 18 man guillotine team is going to work. Um, it's quite, I don't know. Like, this is going to be. Interesting. Look, I, I'm giving a jersey out to the winner for this one. Um, and I know it's kind of like a lot of us, some some people are content creators. Um, I know one of them is probably gonna be like kind of hoping that he gets kicked out early <laughs> because, <laughs> because he's in like too many leagues. Uh recently just found out he's in like in 20 plus leagues. I'm like Ooh, I couldn't even imagine. I, even I, yeah, I'm like, dude. Okay, so I, I obviously as a content creator for for fantasy football, um, I cap myself at ten, and I'm at nine this year. I cap myself at ten. Next year I'll yeah. probably be at eight. Two of them are which are best ball leagues, and one of them I don't really care about because I have it on auto. I have a setting for it mm-hmm. that it it kind of does it for me. So realistically, I'm probably keeping track about five to six which i'm I assuming you have like an order of like priority which ones oh you yes want and which to is well on yeah. sleeper you could do that you, yeah. you could put the yeah. priority list too i don't yeah. know that or not um obviously our league our dynasty league is number one for me uh and i just drafted my fantasy team half an hour ago oh okay what's up that is hell yeah uh please do share i would love to see that as a matter of fact take a screenshot of the discord and oh, maybe yeah. we could run it down if we have time later or tomorrow or something. Yeah, do that, do that, do that, do that. I want to see what you got, man. Um, but yeah, yeah, put in put in Discord. I'll open it up. Um, but either way, so this guillotine league was kind of hectic, man. 18 yeah. people. Um, it was a snake draft, obviously, because he was starting, uh, uh, you know, standard starter. So, uh, obviously, a lot of pieces are missing from each team. Mm-hmm. Um, either people focused on defense first or people focused on offense first. And we're not doing whole defenses, we're doing individual defensive players. So, the way this works is it's not head to head. Yes, you'll get to have the fun engagement of, of facing somebody, but at the end of the week, if you're the lowest scoring pointed team you lose everybody on your roster and everybody the following week go to the waiver wire and try to grab as much as guys they can yep doing that or putting in my only thing is are we going to do two day waivers i was thinking doing two way waivers since it's so many of us and then when once gets it down to 12 do one i'm yeah, still on the front. no uh, that makes sense I'll, I'll still Especially think about in the beginning because yeah, there's, there's 18 of us. I know some of them are going to complain about that because it's not, it's out of the norm, mm-hmm. uh, but there's 18 of us and I know the waivers aren't going to flow as well. So I'm thinking, what's up, man? Uh, we're just talking about our guillotine league today. Uh, so yeah, big part. Uh, them boys. I'm glad you're here, dude. Yeah. Um, 
My league had a ten though. It was a snake, but league is is my team is solo. Okay, okay. And I'll just type it out. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's that fine. Works. Uh Mark will be out first. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mark, let's 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 look at Mark's team. All right. Mark's not here. So um you guys took both of you took an interesting approach. You started off with Josh Allen. Yeah. And then Josh. Well, uh, my thought process player. was trying to score the most points. So no, and that's <laughs> the fine. Best running backs were gone. I'm like, okay, let's go for the best quarterback then. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. I, I I totally understand. I I I tried a different approach of getting someone who I know is probably one of the top best receivers. Yeah. So I know he'll probably end up getting at least a single touchdown there. So, but uh, let's talk about Mark's team real quick. We went with Holmes in the first round, and then uh, Andrews, Gibson. His running backs are, are gonna are gonna be hurting. Yeah, he's oh, he's definitely going. Can you back. hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? I had static in my earphones. No, that gotcha. was weird. But I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say the starters first. All right, dude. Then the bench. Okay, no problem. Um, typically, I would never go quarterback first, but I understand under the circumstances on why you yeah. guys went quarterback first, and it's clearly because you said why you were gonna go after points first. Points is what matters in our build the blocks league that we're testing out. You also went with quarterback first. Yeah. Same reason. So exactly. You know, I'm excited for that one next year. Uh, we won't do a guillotine next year. We'll 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 uh, do the build of blocks um, next season. And uh, so, yeah, Mark's team is hurting on running back. Um, he's got Eno Benjamin, uh, Jones, Patterson, and Gibson. It's it's not it's not too hot in my opinion. Uh, yeah, he's, he's probably hoping he finishes like seventeenth. Gets the first waiver the first, at, at the first, running backs. Yeah. yeah. So I'll do a I'll do a two way two day waiver to you know even it out until yeah. we get down to twelve weeks or twelve teams. Once we get to twelve weeks, I'll normalize it like a regular one day waiver weird period because gotcha. there's so many of us. Um, yeah. And it's so unpredictable, and that's kind of how I wanted it. Um, I know there was an argument of having an auction, and I understand that. Anthony kept giving me a bunch of crap about it, and I'm I'm here now talking about it um, because we are doing the guillotine show every week. The reason I didn't want to do auction is because I want this league to be so unpredictable that you don't even know if you're going to survive that week. By him yeah. using all of his fab the first week on a player that he wanted right away, that's that's predictable. I'm trying to get unpredictable. You know what I mean? He has that yeah. advantage of utilizing every single dollar that he has on his fab right away. If I'm going to eliminate that, then there is no predictability. No, yeah. That's where I'm coming from. But it is what it is. Um, so what is yeah, so you heard it too. What is that? No, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't the only one that heard it. All right, I'm glad someone else heard it. It was weird. I'm like, what is that sound? It was like a weird staticky sound. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, that's why I went with Russ in the second. He'll be QB one uh, playing Seattle. Yeah, no. Uh, where you at, then, boys? Russ in second. Okay, not bad. Uh, he looked out with Robinson getting a shot. At least Gibson. Yeah, he did. He did. He'll survive mm -hmm. this week. Did. Uh... Um, did Gibson uh, pay a hitman for that, or <laughs> there there was a joke about that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you're not uh, taking my job yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, screw this rookie. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you know, and it, you, what's crazy is, you know, everybody's fading uh, Gibson. I, I I get it, you know, but Rivera said that he's still going to be utilized. Say mm -hmm. say. See, Robinson's still playing this weekend, right? Gibbs yeah. is still going to be useful, and that, oh, that's yeah. the thing. Like people, like people are drafting, you know, Tony Pollard, knowing that Zeke is there. 
people yeah. are drafting Michael Carter and in, in Bell. Well, wow, uh Hall, Jesus. Uh yeah. same letters, my bad. Um yep. you know, it's RB1, RB2. Yeah. Gordon in, in in Williams, you know, ETN I mean, yeah. in Robinson. These are RB1s, RB2s. This is why I'm not I'm not entirely too scared. Yes, I understand that he's not getting the like first down. Like I just obviously. wish they would start like using him with his receiver skills more. I think that might be the the, the case here. I We're just so. haven't seen it yet. Yeah, and, and that's why I'm 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 not entirely faded on, on Gibson. I understand a lot of people don't like the fact that he's 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 not the one. I, I get it, but I th- still think that he's going to be utilized. If you have punt returns and kick return yards in your league, that is your best guy that you want. Him and Tony yeah. Pollard are probably going to be identical this season. Yeah. I mean, take it as a hot take or what you want, but I, I I still think that him and Gibson are going to put up similar numbers this season. But hey, um, let's look look at them boys since he's here. Um, so you got Burrow as your QB, okay? McCaffrey, Gibson. Oh, we're just talking about Gibson. Yeah. Allen Woods and the flexes. You got Chubb, Bengals kicker in your defense. All right. Um. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So he probably went with McCaffrey first and his first overall pick, and then Chubb in his second, maybe Gibson or Burrow in his third or fourth. Okay, not bad. Uh, yeah. yeah, those are the starters. Yeah, I see that. Um, and it was only a 10-man league? Okay. 10-team leagues are, are not that bad. I think uh, the Nerd Huddle, we're doing a 10-man league, right? I like his kicker. Or is like it a... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we... we... <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love that guy, man. <laughs> he reached on him in a few leagues. <laughs> I was gonna get the best kicker. Did you get? Did you get him in this one? Uh, yeah, oh, I, I took kickers so. off. I took kickers off on that one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I took kickers off on that one. It is just too much. Um, and your bench, okay. Um, <clears throat> that's not my team. What do you mean it's not your team? That's your team, bro. Anyways, uh, I'm confused here. Yeah, me too. I'm confused. Never. Uh, never mind. Oh, still, okay. Talking about Derby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was talking about Derby. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's up, Tank? All right. So, we're we're just going over our guillotine stuff. So, um, Tank, you getting I, sleep? <laughs> yeah, it, probably not, dude. He's probably he's probably up right now, baby in one hand, phone in the other. She's probably. probably <laughs> uh, I forgot the the start of tight end Walker. Okay, or or, or uh, Waller. yeah, you you Waller, Darren Waller. Okay, um, is he good to go this week? <sighs> he said he is. Right? Is he? He's he listed on, on on week one injury report. Yeah. I've seen a lot of like game time decisions for a lot of guys. Your first guy to get right now, and it depends on how much you believe in him. Like, but you're in a 10 man, so there should be someone available. Unless someone's yeah. rounding them all up. But Foster Moreau is the backup, dude. And he's I'm not saying he's he's as good as Waller, but he puts he's, up numbers. Yeah. Um that's this that's Foster Monroe here. This guy. 2021, even when Waller was there, he still put up numbers out of total. Let's see, uh, last year was what PPR leagues 86 points. I mean, it was, it was, he wasn't playing a whole lot, but he was still valuable. So, um, said what sleep? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't miss that. Um, <laughs> I've got to get to the bench. Yeah, show me what your bench is. Um, if you, if you got a bench. Tight end and, and great, I guess. Um, all right, so them boys obviously went with Parsons in the third. I'm not surprised there. Like, got to get your guy. That's that was, but not that that did not surprise me at all. Them boys, like you just you always get all right. Anyway, Sutton Cooks. I'm gonna see where his weak point is at, and it might be running back, just like everyone else. Um, he got Mixon. 
and then Zach Wilson, which I'm not too high on, especially now that he's out. For how many weeks? I think he's out the first four weeks. Yeah, week four. Yep. He'll be fine, QB-wise. I mean, by week four, five, four to five of these QBs are going to be available. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't think I'm going to reach for what I might. I mean... Well, I think it depends my, on who goes biggest. out, but yeah. Yeah, and it's not it's not my biggest stressor right now, mm-hmm. but and that's the thing. We all have we all have gaps somewhere we're all missing. Um like like the one team that has like three tight ends. This is the team that's gonna leave first. I have a feeling it's like three tight ends. Like why? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh <laughs> wow. so your bench is Judy McLaurin Smith. And James Cook, Cole Komet. Okay, there you go. Put Cole Komet in there. Um, and yeah, that, that Ravens right. defense is. I think the Ravens defense is going to be really stout. I think Week One Ravens <clears throat> defense might actually do really, really good this week. Who's your? Uh, you got the Patriots defense. Yeah. Who are they playing Week One right now? I think they're playing the I know- Patriots. You'd go Patriots over the Ravens Week One. No, no, I think they're. Oh, I think they're playing the Dolphins. I mean, I, I think I would go. If it's Dolphins, I'd still go. I would still go. Uh, Ravens against the Jets this week for your defense, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Um, they got Joe Flacco. I know it's probably a little bit more throwing, but overall, I don't think that they're gonna like put up crazy numbers against against anybody this year. Like, um. I just why don't am see I, it. Why? I, I go stupid. I put up the schedule and then dumb Google gave me freaking week one of 2021. I want that. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. They are against the Dolphins. Yeah. yeah so I've seen Dolphins. some comments about uh, the head coach talking about like the biggest discrepancy like playing Belichick and he has like all these wins in the NFL and he has zero as a head coach. So he's like, yeah, I don't know what you can really compare here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. So depending on, on Waller, he's not going to, he's not going to play. So I, unless he just magically gets better by, by Sunday. Uh, but you, you probably end up putting Cole Komet in Ravens or probably, I would put Ravens in over mm-hmm. the Patriots this week. Um, and then your starters, Gibson, Allen Woods, and your flex is Chubb. That's I think I believe everybody else. Maybe McLaurin though over freaking uh Woods though, right? Yeah, I'd put McLaurin in over Woods for sure. Because you have you have Allen Woods and oh oh we have somebody. Oh yeah, because Te- he tell all right. Whenever he's ready, he can come in. But he tells uh, we're always on this guy. Um, <laughs> That's you are always on, all the time. <laughs> and this guy tells things. me I'm on all the time. Justin Tucker's the best kicker in the NFL. I don't care what you're saying. Oh my gosh! Until he's proven wrong, he's the best kicker in the NFL. Where did this come? From? Because no, of Mr. Pearson coming? said yes. No, I love McPherson, but I will agree that Tucker That's is Tucker's number one. He he's hands down. He'll probably go down as the best kicker ever over like Vinatieri even. So I agree. I agree. So, yeah. No. I, was like, I heard you guys say that. I was like, what? No. I didn't say it. He said it. All right. <laughs> I didn't say he's the best, did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Uh, well, he's the best kicker in the right game. now. Then yeah, I'd, I'd still say it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> I agree with you, damn boys. Uh, you, you don't need them, especially week four. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zach is a game time decision, good. guys. Say what? Zach's a game time de- decision. No, no, but we're talking about damn boys. Is is, is guillotine league? Yeah, I'm talking about, you, Russell, you're talking about Zach need. Wilson being out the first four weeks. He is a game time decision already. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> but specifically to them boys, he doesn't need them. Oh yeah. Uh, and then with 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 eighteen man, uh, eighteen teams, there's no way to have uh, any something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know what is going on right now. I just and Allen, I'd say Allen would play the Giants. I I don't know. So the reason I don't like Woods is because who's throwing uh, to him? Yeah, Tannehill. I don't know, man. <laughs> like they lost. There's a wide receiver throwing him the ball. Tannehill's not going to have a good beginning of the season. But, That's just but not. That, yeah, even them boys is, is saying the same thing we said: McLaurin over Woods. Yeah. Uh, and, and am I sure? I mean, you got four people saying this, but it, it look ultimately it's just your lineup. You, yeah. you could, whatever. I'm, I'd rather put uh McLaurin over Woods, anyways. Um, especially coming off of an injury, I think Bobby Trees needs to show me what he has first before I put him in over McLaurin. McLaurin is gonna get you guaranteed 11 12 points, they gotta yeah. throw him the ball. So I mean that's it's a safer route, and yeah. Bobby Trees is a possession receiver anyway. So you don't know I what's wouldn't. Gonna I wouldn't sleep on the Giants defense either. The I Giants don't. defense is good, but the offense is what's what's questionable because of Daniel Jones in that line and Barkley's health and if any of those They're receivers can stay super healthy, super expensive like receivers. <laughs> yeah, it, it's all health with the offense of the Giants. It's the defense that's good, and that's the only thing that carries them. I but other than that. Look, I would. That's just how I feel. I would put McLaurin over Woods. That's just me. Um, so yeah, we we were just evaluating some of these teams. I know some moves already were made in our league. Uh, you know, with with you dropped Brian Robinson earlier. Yeah. Uh, Blake Martinez got dropped, which and then then boys picked up. Um, shortly after, actually, as of yesterday, I think. Uh, so Brian. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Dustin picked him up, picked up Brian Robinson, uh, dropped John Why? Mechie, which, which I, no, which I think I agree with. I agree with that because John Mechie ain't gonna ain't gonna do anything. Well, yeah, I didn't understand that pick either. But I mean, my question was about Brian Robinson. I don't think he's gonna come back this season. I don't think he's gonna come back until mid season. I don't. I don't know. I I say maybe mid. Is he on the the IL? Like he he's on a, that one the injury reserve that you can't come back for ten games or something like that. Isn't he on that one? I don't know. But they said he was off the crutches today. Yeah, I yeah. I can believe that. But you know, be, be able to get the muscle to react the same way and then to be ready for an NFL game, it's just different. I don't know. I don't see him being available. Ten weeks, well, it's just not normal. We'll see what happens. Uh, is I think he'll still play. I just feel like it, it. It he won't be the same until midseason, if that. If he if he comes out week four, I'll be I'll be surprised. No, there is no way. I'll be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I like I don't think he'll come back to like three fourths of the season, and that'll just be to work him back in. Yeah, yeah. Just to see uh, what he get has. All right, so here's a, Burrow, McCaffrey, Gibson, McLaurin, Smith, Komet. Chubb, McPherson, Raven, Smith, Smith. Uh, which one? Yeah, which Smith? Smith. Devontae? I hope that's Devontae Smith. Because he shouldn't be on your bench, bro. He shouldn't be on your bench. If that's Devontae Smith, he should not be on your bench. Depending on who else you got. Yeah, it's Devontae. Yeah. Depending Devontae? on who you got. Yeah, leave him in. Leave him in. He's McLaurin and, and Smith are, are basically yeah, same. you set him and you forget about him. Like pretty much. Yeah. He plays for Detroit. No, he plays Detroit. Oh, he plays That's Detroit against. Exactly why I will definitely play him. I think that they're gonna throw the ball. I think uh Detroit's biggest, they're great on defensive line. Their defensive line, their front seven is pretty good. Their linebackers are okay, but their defensive line is really good. They built this thing the right way. And I don't think you're going to run much on them. So I think yeah. you're going to have to pass the ball and then you're going to use the legs of you know Jalen Hurts. Thus, I will say, you know, AJ Brown, yes. Uh Demonte Smith, yes. You need to go ahead and have those guys going. As Allen and Woods on the bench. I would put you got some good receivers, man. Yeah, yeah. You got some, you have a lot of good receivers. Woods but, is by far your 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 third, your fourth one behind Allen, Devontae Smith, and McLaurin. 
All right, let's let's keep that in mind. He also has Jerry Judy, so yeah, yeah Jerry Judy. <laughs> I will Bro, start Jerry Judy this week. Jerry, Jerry Judy this week. I makes that you him. have oh, yeah. four he, he, elite. He probably gonna eat. So <laughs> look, Woods is your last guy there, and Chubb. Yeah, is, yeah Chubb is fine. Like that's another yeah. guy you just set and forget. Yeah. Um, I would definitely put Chubb there. Who's the uh, his second running back then? Gibson. Oh, I'll put Chubb over McCaffrey. Just got McCaffrey, yeah. Chubb, and Gibson. I will put McCaffrey and Chubb in, and then have Gibson as my flex, thinking that possibly I might put Jerry Judy there, especially with with Russ going Seattle. against Seattle. I think Jerry Judy might get you too. So, I, I I would hate to see thirty points on your bench. That's all I'm saying. I, I all right. Here's 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 what I'm thinking. You leave Burrow in, okay? Oh, you leave McCaffrey in. Yes. You leave Chubb in. All right. That's that's one, two, three. Um, that's your running backs and your and your quarterbacks. Your receivers, I would leave in uh Allen and Devontae Smith. I can see that. You're not worried about uh and McLaurin and Judy would probably be the ones fighting for the for the flex, and I would probably put Judy in because uh who the hell the the Washington Commanders got? Oh, they got Jacksonville. <laughs> oh, Derpy, you, like if you don't win, I'm gonna be highly. <laughs> you have no. This He's is got a good, very Derpy, favorable look, matchups. Derpy, you have <laughs> amazing. You're not worried players. about. That's why you're not worried about hard. Allen with the Stafford. You don't know what his shoulder is right now. You're not worried about him right now. So that. I, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I don't know what Stafford is, so I might even play Allen He's over Stafford. About Keenan over, Allen. Uh, oh, Keenan, yeah, Allen. Keenan Allen. Oh, my God. Okay. All yeah. Right, Hell yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, it's Keenan Allen. Allen. yeah, it's, it's Keenan Allen. I'll take everything back. Keenan Allen definitely start him. Yes. Yeah. 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 Keenan Allen plays against the Raiders. Okay. Yep. The Raiders, and, and I like how he says they're playing the Raiders, though, as if the Raiders got a hot ass defense. Look, Raiders got a mediocre defense right now yeah, they did the they Giants did do some upgrades the raiders mm-hmm. are front higher seven than, higher than their Giants. dbs are too young right now yeah that's very important i think i think they're too young right now they got sophomores and rookies back there i think they're gonna be throw i think i think herbert is gonna have is gonna go ham on those dbs do i do like trayvon mooring the- do i think he's gonna be one of the best dbs in the league oh yeah i just think right now they're still – if you line him up against Keenan Allen, I'll take Keenan Allen. It's going to torch him all day. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Burrow, McCaffrey, Chubb, and then Keenan Allen, Devontae Smith, and you're going to – it's either going to be Gibson or McLaurin there at, at the flex. Yeah, yeah, you have so many options. Yeah, I'm surprised you yeah. didn't let you have these beasts. Yeah, but I don't think I will have Bit Gibson there yet because I, I just don't know what he's going to be because he's he's going to be their, their RB two. And, and watch the one just, this week. But no, isn't Washington Gibson RB one? Washington stupid. McKissick's going to get the ball. What I promise you, McKissick is going to get the ball and he's going to outrun. He's going to get, get more rushes. Watch it's it happens every week. I don't it know. Happens. It I literally does. Like I feel like the 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 Washington backfield are just as confused as the Philly backfield. <laughs> yeah, they have That's talent, true. but they don't know what to do with it. Like I would, I I on I want to say Miles Sanders is one of the best r- running backs in the league, but the problem is that they don't they don't use him like he's supposed to be used. He keeps on getting and hurt. This is why he hasn't produced anything except for his rookie year. He keeps on getting like, hurt. That's the problem, Miles Sanders. Like he needs to be the number one back yeah, back which there. Running for a back while. Doesn't get hurt. Which running back doesn't get hurt? All these running backs get hurt for like one. Miles or two Sanders years. might be hurt right now. He'd be tripping over like suitcases and stuff and well, twisting his ankle. Uh, <laughs> I just don't understand. Yeah. So even though yeah. I have him like three seat, three of my <laughs> three of my drafts, I, I drafted them. So, but that's not the yeah. point. <laughs> no, the point is we're we're helping out Derpy and we're helping out or we're talking about our guillotine league because. Uh, I think the biggest move here was getting uh them boys picked up uh Blake Martinez. I know which is surprising. I really thought he would have found a job by now. Well, I'm sure 
teams are kicking the tires on them. Someone will. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Divine Diablo was a good pickup. Jalen Rager is that's in this league is going to be interesting. Uh, one because they they had Calvin Ridley, so that's, yeah, the, that's an yeah. upgrade right there. <laughs> that's an upgrade right there. Uh, Amir Abdullah again, a DB that 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 I don't know. You picked him up, Brian. Actually, yeah, I picked um, him up. So, and then Travis Homer, I think, is a bit, good pickup too because we don't know. Like, he might be the one right now. Just because well, every week, because that's what Seattle is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, a confusion. <laughs> yeah, it, it is uh, a conundrum maybe. wrapped in an enigma. Who's the QB for the Commanders? Uh, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's that was years ago. Cousins is now with with the Minnesota Vikings. You know what? Yeah. I hate Cousins, but I think he's going to have a really good year. I, really I think do. so too. I've never had any Cousins any year till now. I'm excited. I'm excited. Brady, you've not. had Cousins for the past two years, so yeah, he's. I got him in the sixth round last year, and he Did saved my really? season. I feel yeah. I was like, huh? Who do I take here? I Did guess I'll take drop Cousins. him or, or well, yeah, I think so. so somebody was, had to. He have. was tossed around. Yeah, the entire first year, or second year, and the, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Gibson, it is. Hey, look. <sighs> okay. Derpy, do you have do you have kick return and punt return yards? I'm just saying, like either way, I think either yeah. way, I, I I don't see. I still like McLaurin, regardless. I still think he'll be all right this season. Uh, it's just going to be interesting. It's just going to be interesting because a lot of people don't like Wentz. The way he uh, plays, he's not yeah, that good. I don't think you win with Wentz, but you get the ball. You know, you're gonna get the ball with McLaurin. He's going to get the ball because that's what Wentz does. He throws yeah. 28 touchdowns and seven interceptions, but there's the seven interceptions are like to lose the game. It's so like a pick six in an interception. Mm-hmm. Like it's – he's going to still do well. Yeah. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll see coming this Sunday. And, and I'm excited because yeah. it's it's like everything we've talked about. Like we, ha- we have shows all throughout the summer. It's all predictability. And what who goes where, what 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 does this, why, blah, 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 right? But we actually get to talk about it now. And I was telling Braden, like, somebody's gonna start crying by Sunday already. <laughs> because because somebody look, it, it happens either Josh Allen is gonna torch them or, right. or Bobby Wagner is gonna have a, a a grand old day. I don't know, like. It, it it all depends. Jalen Ramsey can take one to the house. Anything can happen. And I've been saying this for weeks. This is this should have been the Super Bowl we should have seen. Yeah. This is the Super Bowl I expected. Because I don't think if like I guess say what you want to say about Buffalo and, and the KC game. Like say what you want to say. Either it was unfair or whatever it was fair. I mean, both defenses gave up plays like, like nobody's business. So, I don't know. I don't care about that as much as I just I feel like it was built the Bills' year. This it was the Bills' year. Everything was geared for them to go get there, and I think they would have destroyed a Cincinnati. I think they would destroy them. But you know, because think about what what the Chiefs were doing before. All of a sudden, you know, they forgot he forgot how to play. Mahomes forgot how to throw the ball. Yeah. No, he, they were destroying them. And if Josh Allen, yeah. he's in the game, he's just going to – if he gets something, he's going to run the ball. He's going to kill them. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. The if Super the Bowl receivers get shut down, it's going to run. Yeah. So, uh, But, yeah, Wentz, uh, Wentz, Wentz does he, – he's a – yeah. My, uh, Michael Pittman did pretty good last season. And that was his sophomore year. So, I mean, it, it, it is it is what you want to do. It's all set. So, this is what, this is what he's going with. Burrow McCaffrey, Chubb, Allen Smith, Komet, McLaurin, McPherson, Ravens. I like that. I like that. Yeah. If you lose, that's a good lineup. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the lineup if you lose for the other guy. Like, and what's crazy is, is that team. <laughs> what's crazy is if if you don't like McLaurin, you could probably put Jerry Judy in there too. 
Yep, I agree. Okay. Jerry Judy might have 30 points sitting on your bench. Jerry Judy might be just as productive. Uh, was the other team? Ugh. I thought we were just talking about the one team. All right, we. If Jerry Judy's on this lineup, it might. It, McLaurin might be a better op, or Jerry Judy might be a better option because he's against Seattle and I'm, they are Russell horrible. Wilson is gonna. I think he's gonna want to torch him. All the abuse that it, it came even, last year. I don't even think if he wants to, he just automatically will. Like it's not even like he's got to try <laughs> to torch him. It's gonna be plus yeah. or minus like four touchdowns in the first half. I literally think that he might score. Tw- it might be twenty eight nothing going to halftime. Yeah. What what do you what do you what do you think? Should we should we swap out uh, McLaurin for Judy? I would. I might be that might be uh might be okay. Why do you feel like touchdowns? Well well I'm thinking Russ is a more sure thing than Carson is right now. Yeah. So I think like I would lean towards Judy. I'm leaning towards Sudden. I'm leaning towards Judy. I'm leaning towards Williams. Yeah. Everyone on Denver's offense. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm thinking they got a left tackle that's eligible. <laughs> Try and pick him up. <laughs> let's tight end. Let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> right. Yeah, because none of these guys are playing tomorrow. So that's good. Oh, and by the way, Derpy, uh, rule number one. All right. I'm going to tell you this. Rule number one. I don't know how new your other league mates are. are uh, and I know you're pretty new to the game, so and it's it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't tell your other league mates this unless they watch us. But if you have a a game that's on Thursday, like tomorrow, don't ever put tomorrow Buffalo Bills and the Rams. Don't ever put a Thursday night player on the flex spot. Oh yeah. And here's why. You're gonna you're gonna destroy the flex spot. Tomorrow we still have practice. Friday we still have practice, right? If something happens to one of your starters in, on 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 practice Friday night or Friday, you you you're you're already locked up for the flex. The flex you can't move around anymore. So if you're gonna play a Thursday guy, put him in the actual lineup. Yep. Does that make sense, Derpy? I hope it does. But yeah, never never start. Flex guys at Thursdays, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, it's it's just rule number one. A lot of people don't know about it, and then they lock themselves up, and then they can't move anything around because the flex spot is already locked up for that Thursday game. So now you have to debate which starters you want to put in there. But hey, that's I feel just, like you had a bad just... experience with this once. <laughs> we all have. like never do this because it happened have. to me we all have. 15 I'm, years I'm ago sure. it's happened to me when i first started <laughs> I, I learned off experience and I, I a lot of people don't know about it um and then tank says a uh, question who is your prediction and who who's out of the league first oh i said that earlier i said that real no, the quick. guy the guy in the middle the, the guy who has three tight ends here. i said that real quick <laughs> <laughs> this, oh man. this mofo right here Look, Look, Alex, I, I think I'm going to beat Martin this week, but I don't think he's going to be the last. I honestly, I think he's going to still score. Yeah, I think I think you'll beat points. me this week, and I'm okay with that. Uh, well, it might be better to, to lose, honestly. Right? <laughs> yeah, For I don't know. And if it makes you feel better, I got McLaurin too. So right there, All right? Don't 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 feel like McLaurin's bad, and he's and he's he's worth crap. But I'm just saying, he's I got him too. Um. I think I caught him in another league too. But yeah, this this is the team that's gonna be out first. I have a feeling this is gonna be the team that's out first. Are they the because one they have you? Cup Brown and Metcalf. Metcalf so is is gonna be a I don't know. I would never have taken him there. Carr yeah. is gonna be just fine. I he always produces. Uh Dallas Goddard, great. But then the problem is is why if you're gonna have Dallas Goddard, why even get Irv's Irv Smith. Smith. Yeah. Like, no offense. Okay. But why why Irv Smith? Why? You don't need you need a third guy. Um, let's see. Uh running backs, Damian Harris and James Cook. Both of they these guys are gonna be a backfield. <laughs> back <laughs> <to the laughs> but it, it, um I like his 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 LB1. I like Campbell. He's one of my favorite linebackers. Uh Hubbard and Hayward, a uh, good defensive lineback, uh lineman. 
and Humphreys and Duggar. I like them both. But the problem is, is because he did three tight ends instead of getting another running back or another receiver or somebody like that, he ended up with uh, TDP, who is like, and another running back by committee, who probably won't even sniff the field this week because yeah. everyone's healthy. Uh, Williams, uh, is that the receiver? He's going to be yeah. gone for what, six weeks? Four weeks, I think. At least mandatory four weeks, he might be back. Uh, Deion Jones, four weeks. Trubisky's actually named the starter, but again, that line and 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 the receivers, uh, is he going to connect with them very well? I think, I hope he does. I really hope that Trubisky does a career year this year just, just to see. <laughs> I hope. that's. I got to just pray for him, but I, I don't know. Uh, Derek Stingley, Devin Duvernay, Carson Lott, like, his defense was just like after these guys, these guys are like either injured or like backups, man. Like, yeah. But hey, this guy actually, this guy might be a sleeper. I'm thinking TJ Edwards, but uh, he's in the lineup now. So, yeah. Uh, How many points is he projected to have? That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, he's going against Mark. Really? That's interesting. He's projected to have just as much points as Mark at 111. Wow. That is interesting. Mark must be missing on something. Yeah. What is wrong with Mark's team? Oh, he's got Burks in there. That's why. He's got uh, Burks in his, his receiver, though. So Mark must be hurting at receiver right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Traylon Burks. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. Well, you waited he's, that long. He's got other receivers he can put in, but. He's probably John <clears throat> Dotson. I'm sure he'll change it today. Yeah. yeah but that's not going to sure make your points. Will. It's not going to change your points that by that much. I think Jahan Dotson might have a, a higher or MBS might. Alex Pierce. I think Alex Pierce. Dotson, MBS, or Pierce. Burks is Burks is weird for me right now. I think he's going to be a really good rookie. I'm st I still believe in Burks. I really do. Like a lot of people are are, are fading Burks because of the whole asthma and whatnot with thing. Yeah, he hasn't done that productive in, in preseason. But but look, I like the guy MBS just this didn't develop asthma yesterday. Okay. He's had this his entire life, and he was a boss in Oklahoma. So you're telling me that that's not going to look. He a went lot to of Oklahoma. Rookies... I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter what you know. Yeah, asthma. Oh, yeah, okay. He went what to Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. Like he he's going to be fine. Give him a his head on these, the sidelines. <laughs> a lot of these rookies don't don't pan out right away, and it's fine. Like my biggest one is is. Our number one running back in all our leagues, Jonathan Taylor. When he yeah. first got to the league, everybody was hating him because he was sucking. He was running into the back of the back of his lineman, not looking for holes, not doing anything. I'm telling you, like it 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 takes time for them to develop. That's a good point. Do I think he's gonna be probably a top rookie this year? Yeah, I think so. Why? Yeah, sure. Why not? He's 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 good, he's a good athletic guy. Javon uh, Taylor, it didn't take him until like almost mid season to finally produce what he was supposed to be drafted as. Yeah. I see the same thing out of Burks, just different position. But that's just my take on it. I, I'm so not, you're going I'm not the scared. whole like Justin Jefferson route basically with him. Say what? Said so you're going the Justin Jefferson route with him. Like, I thought JJ was, was amazing. Yeah, was yeah JJ, J, JJ took a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Did he really? Yeah, he took, took a few weeks and then mm -hmm. really he didn't about, Yeah, because we, remember everybody was on KJ Osborne's nuts the entire time? Yeah. And JJ was just faded the entire time. What I remember is that he ended up for what in three years he had more yards than the DK Metcalf. I know that first year where he ended up with he still ended up with a thousand yards, right? That first year. Yeah, yeah. Because he, 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 he caught Mark Chase was he caught fire everybody once he like actually got week on five or something like that. It was just yeah. he just was un unstoppable. Yeah. He yeah. was the talk of the year before Jamar Chase came in the following year. And yeah. then the following year after that, we were like, which is this year, we're like, okay, 
who's the receiver. That that's not gonna I, look. I don't think that's gonna happen this year. That's very rare that we have back to back. You know, unicorns like that receivers. That but we knew like those guys were were great. We knew Chase oh, yeah. was great, and we knew Jefferson was great coming out of college. LSU. I don't know yeah. if we. I don't know if we have that. I, Garrett Wilson is really good, but he could easily be a possession if, receiver. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if any of these receivers are going to be like what they were the last two given receive, rookie receivers. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'll, I'll get to these comments. I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to be what's his face out of freaking Saints. Olave, uh, Chris Olave, like Olave, oh, yeah. because he's so it, quick, it, and then and then that offense. Yeah, getting him the ball in the middle of the field. They connect. That's, that's the yeah. one guy that's, that's probably going to be. But but again, it, it it's it's a big if. I like. See, that. if I was putting money down, I'd put it on Pickens. But <clears throat> I don't believe in it in quarterback right now. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so it's hard. Where we have oh, Holmes, yeah. Henry, Jacobs, Evans, Williams, Ertz, Cooper. So, what in the world? You, you know who has the lowest projection amount of points in this league now? It's NYN or NY. Whoever third pick is. Yeah, and like why? Yeah, sorry, the Green Bay Packers one. He's projected for like 108. Really? Oh, that's interesting. 108, 18. Yeah. That's, that's because Miles Sanders is probably hurt. NTN's NTN's gonna be fine. Yeah. Sharp Penny's not gonna play. Hunt's not gonna be off the. He's not gonna be blowing up this anytime this week. So he really only has one running back. Well, he has oh, Harold Landry. That. He has Harold there Landry is. in his his uh, lineup too. He's on the IR. So, so Dem Boys agrees with me on on Olave as well. So um oh okay, okay. So I see what you're doing here. Uh that's that's who you're facing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mahomes, Henry Jacobs. Mike that's a Evans, lot of points too. <laughs> Mike Williams, Zach Ertz, Cooper. What's if, if, what's if Ertz look, plays? Hey, don't though, worry about Amari Cooper. Over an injury. I don't yeah, think I'm not worried about Cooper right now either. either. Suck up, bro. You won. <laughs> Why you got suck up in there, man? Hey, look, these well, other guys. Suck have... up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> suck like, up. just don't even put a kicker in. F it. <laughs> Derby, you, even it out and take your kicker out. Then you got a match. <laughs> <laughs> I think got suck up, man. All right, oh, I thought he was, this guy was boss until he puts. All right, look, Derby. Keep they looking. still all you gotta do is kick points after the you know after Tom Brady scores. Yeah, you you'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, Mahomes. Mahomes was gonna score a lot. Henry can yeah. run all over people. Jacobs. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Evans. Yeah, Mike Jake, Evans. There's a lot less questions that I have on Derpy's lineup than I do with his opponent. I agree. Yeah. Well, like I said, too, Ertz might not even play. So this is a this is tank. Also, want to see? Do, I, I I do too, man. I do too. I, I really hope that he does good. I said uh, that yesterday. I want him. to I hope he does well. I don't know if he's gonna play the whole season because I think Kenny Pick is is too similar of a guy. And he's younger. Which, not by a lot, but you know he's their number one draft pick, and they're going to want to see him. But if Mitch stays above five hundred, I don't know how you take him out. Yeah. I think as long as Mitch isn't just throwing interceptions left and right, and he doesn't get hurt, I bet he plays all year. And then they just let Kenny Pickett sit all year, watch, learn, and then come in. That'd next be year. the best thing to do. I mean, look at the Niners. <clears throat> yeah. If if he balls out, if he balls out this year. The Niners are going to look like the smartest team on earth if he balls out. I'll be on the on their um, side next week. Fuck them. This uh, week. I'm, <laughs> Sorry. Not convinced, I'm not convinced on Trey Lance yet. Look, I'm just I'm just saying. I know a lot of people are not, but if I he think if he's he going to out, build, he's going to build. Like it's going to be like he's going to, have to learn the NFL and he's going to build as he goes. By week eight, I think Trey Lance is going to be a baller, but I just don't think it's going to be like immediate. Oh well, I mean it's it. Of course, it takes a lot of these guys. Like, I I'm expecting Lawrence to be a lot better than this year. I agree. I, I, I a like lot it. of people have not talked about him all off season, which is surprising to me. Look, I, it's because the Jaguars. They're, they're, he's, they're, they're yeah. the Jaguars. It's but just he has what they are. he has two good running backs now, not just the yep. one. He has two of them. Mm-hmm. 
Right. And they upgraded his wide receiver core. Yep. So I don't care and about the, the money. I'm better. just saying about the talent. And the defense is better. Well, they also have an NFL head coach now, so that that is very true. They don't have a child <laughs> teaching him. Okay, that, that, that no, it's a it's a huge upgrade. Watch how much that team is going to actually give give a damn. Like they're going to be like, oh wow, okay. Well, I mean, Urban Meyer didn't even know who Aaron Donald was, so <laughs> he's like, I hear this ninety nine guy is going to give us problems. Should I be worried? <laughs> like. Yeah, like, yeah, why he might be the greatest. Draft Aaron Donald in our guillotine league. I don't know, but I saw that dude working out with a rock earlier. What you mean, like a bowler? No, like Dwayne oh, Johnson. Oh, like Larry. the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, Larry lifting weights together earlier. Aaron Donald's Larry to go to rock bottom somebody. He's gonna kick him, give him the people's well, elbow. It's yeah. happening. There you, there you go. We're, we're gonna bring out a wrestling ring and let him climb up. You know, <laughs> uh, that's uh, one of our viewers. Um, yeah, I, I remember. I remember now. He took he he took him in the six. That's not a bad. That's not a bad spot. That is not a bad spot. That's a really good spot. Get him at the six. Establish his receivers. Then his running back. And then he got Henderson, who probably might. Who I know, them boys is on Henderson. He likes Henderson. I remember him saying that. Is he going to play? I don't know, but but if he survives, <laughs> I mean, probably. Like, <laughs> this week, gonna, gotta, I don't know. Back points, so. wow, I this week, he has this no week. point. Elijah Mitchell. I don't think that he's going to run for a lot of yards this, this week. Uh, Henderson, I don't think he's going to do at all anything at Isn't all. Isn't Mitchell questionable though? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, Daryl, Daryl yeah, Henderson. Yeah. Uh, we're we're looking at Hundro's team right now. He might not hit running back points at all. Yeah, that looks really questionable. Wow, we might have a tie between him and him and Triple Tight over there. Oh boy, this is interesting because this dude is not going to sniff the field. He's not going to get in. This is, and that's guillotine for you though. That's guillotine. You if you don't draft very well, you're going to be sucking. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, I'm just surprised that nobody has uh Bobby Boucher. He's <laughs> like, hey, I'm just, I'm like, don't I'm talk about his mama. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a little too old now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Always coming up with but st- stupid stuff, man. Are we gonna God. have to get you a Bobby Boucher jersey, Martin? It, man. What's up? Are we gonna have to get you a Bobby Boucher jersey now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Um I'm on him later on, but not this week. Yeah, this week seems a little weird. Yeah, I think both of those might He's give too, him some. And they, they're too healthy. And I just don't see him until maybe someone gets hurt. Because you know someone's going to get hurt in their defense. They're uh, running backs. Yeah. Uh, and then and they just they just rotate through them all anyways. That's just yep. really what it seems like. Uh, he says Mitch game? is going to ball out this year. I got to see it. Because you know what happens with San Francisco? Their running backs all get hurt. Hey, though, they keep on running because they got the best line and the best left tackle in the game. Hold on, though. Well, it's not just well, that. Like, if if you blow up one week, you probably don't see that running back again for like three weeks. Yeah. Who else is gets, there? Like, we're gonna we're gonna run this guy this week. I'm like, who else I, is there? Yeah, they get rid of Trey Sermon. Which me I was surprised. Who else is there? We didn't know Elijah Mitchell. Mitchell. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah, hey, that's, yeah. That's true. They draft running backs, and they're no good. You find them in like the sixth, that's seventh true. round, or they're undrafted, and there's some star. So I don't understand it. Yeah. Hey, but they Derby, always have running backs. When you get a chance, go to the Discord and go down to Dynasty Pylon and to uh, not the nerdy news because I probably won't look at it. But if you go down to football. Hashtag Dynasty Pylon. Throw your lineup in there. I want to look at. I want to look at your lineup. Is it? Oh, have you seen his hidden power? What? What did he say? 
Oh, man. Have you seen his hidden power? And he might tackle the referee by mistake. And he could take the ball to the house. Bare ass. Bare ass. <laughs> I'm starting to um, wonder if Vontaze Perfect watched that movie too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh. Anyways, what? What? All right. So before we kind of like shut this down, and everything. Anything you wanted to like talk about the guillotine league or focus on anything or just, just anything really? Or anybody Honestly, seen you want to look at? I love the fact so many people review. pick those line those linebackers that could play defensive line, and it gives you the flexibility. I mean that it's so smart. You need to have. Two or three of those guys, because you don't know what's going to happen health wise. But when you have two or three of those guys, it's like having six, because yes. they can play in two different positions. So knowing that you don't need to draft, you know, some of these guys got like nine people on the defense. You don't need nine people on defense. You could draft six if they all play two positions. I and I, you know, I feel like that was a mistake. All right, Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa was another one. There was another prime like linebacker that I. Could have think of that play the DL spot. Oh, Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, that's the other one. Which I think I ended up getting him. I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. If he gets that 16 sacks, I'm in trouble. It's not going to be 16, <laughs> bro. It's not going to be 16. He's going to get like four in one week. I'm like, uh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought with Chandler Jones, too. He had five week one. And then <laughs> we're like, oh shit, it's over. And then he got five and a half the rest of the year. The rest of the... I mean, 10 is probably a better number, but I'm I'll give six. him 10, but he's, he's not going to hit <laughs> yeah. 18, bro. No, no. I will too six. All right. Look, uh, this is for you. If you want to address that, Brian, I know. No, you, right, so I'd rather have you hurt his feelings this than today. Me. We are on. We're doing Mondays and Fridays while She Hulk is going. We, we're not doing Thursday because we were going to go to Thursday because of She Hulk, but it's football season. Who the hell wants to talk about She Hulk on Thursday night football? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going to go to Friday. So we'll do Mondays and Fridays while the season is going, <laughs> especially with She Hulk coming. Yeah. It just doesn't make. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, honestly. What do you love first? I love Marvel. I love my comic books, but uh, well, football, no, football is king. Football's yeah. king. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you said it. I wasn't going to be the one breaking his heart. Uh, basically, as <laughs> Mitchell was another Alfred Morris and, and Terrell Davis late round pick for Shan Hands in the interior of the 49ers O line. It's a problem, but to, but to be honest, anybody can get yards off, off yes. the scheme. That scheme. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Shanahan's know how to run the ball. Tell that to Trey Sermon, are. bro. That's Trey Sermon. So <laughs> Trey Sermon came in thinking that he not was great. Anybody. Okay. Not okay. Anybody. Well, I think if he didn't get a concussion the first time he touched the football, <laughs> we might have seen something. <laughs> but that dude, man. Uh Quincy Williams lost his dual eligibility on sleeper. Yeah, it, it happened recently. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, I think it was before the draft, man. I think it was before the draft. So yeah, he did. He did. I thought, I figured you I think we known said that. that. We were like, why is he, I thought he was supposed to be a, 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 a DB too, but no. No, he, he, he lost it. They, it was, it was, uh, they dueled him and lost it. It's funny. <laughs> you talk about. His his, who's his his uh. Somebody else is is it Quinn Williams? He's got dual. No, somebody here, on the Jets got dual. Jermaine Johnson. Has got the dual now. Why I don't know, but that's what's the way it is. Uh, I knew this, because, uh, look at here. All right, I knew that. But you got to do your homework. See this? Jermaine Johnson, who's he with? Me. <laughs> okay, I knew that. So, so them boys, hey, look. Look, Quincy's still going to do good, though. He's still going to do good. Um, All right, so. Friday, D23. So, no, Friday we'll do She-Hulk. Saturday we'll do another show 
we'll talk about D23. But as Take is saying, they're not live streaming any of these major panels, so we're going to have to go off Twitter and get all those results off of, you know, off Twitter and you know Instagram or whatever else you, know, you got to look at. But we can't actually see what they're going to be doing. We'll just hear everyone telling us what's going on. Hey, please, please tell me you don't actually think Henry Cavill's in Loki, right? <laughs> I don't know. He could be Hyperion. I think he's going to be Wonder Man, personally. No, somebody faked that whole Twitter thing that said it was from some, like, was it Variety or something like that? I believe Denzel is going to be in it. I believe Denzel will be Magneto. I believe... I'm, I'm not going to take bore you. This is football Sorry. time. <laughs> this is football time. I'm not going to get Martin mad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just listening. Hey, to man, it. he had a whole Star Wars episode one, so. <laughs> that was a 10-minute segment, all right? With that our, was a with your shoes and everything. You wanted the shoes, man. Oh. All right. Uh, Trey Sermon and Jermichael Hasty got both got cut from Arvada. the Niners. They're keeping Elijah Mitchell, Jeff Wilson, and TDP. Uh, the rookie from LSU and unknown guy, Jordan Mason, both uh, out for it. And I'm okay with that. I, I was surprised. No, no, no. As long as Jeff Jeff Wilson's there, I don't know. That that's fine. The Star Wars shoes, yeah, man. Hey, they they cool <laughs> as hell. You ever you ever watch uh, Surfs Up and how he uh, he has his trophies and and his last one is Teresa. That's my Teresa. Them golden golden Star Wars shoes. Yeah, which I'll never probably. I'll probably wear like twice a year, and that's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll wear it up every day. I just be sitting there like Star Wars, ready to go. What, what are you talking about? I'm gonna wear them for like weddings, and <laughs> and and I, I don't care weddings, and and coming into the new year. Yeah, I'd be on a hoverboard, so then they actually hit the ground. Hey, look, right? <laughs> uh, we we got the uniboard now, the the board with the one wheel now. Yep, yep. We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. Anyways, um, that's our guillotine league. 18-man team. Uh, someone will be gone Tuesday. And if you're also in the guillotine league tomorrow, uh, then, boys, I'm opening up everything. You're good to go to make any transactions in all of our leagues. Okay? Uh, I will have to make that announcement still tonight. Just so those uh, – yeah, that's that's my Teresa, yeah. Yeah, you know what scene I'm talking about. If you don't know what scene I'm talking about, go watch Surfs Up. It's funny because the guy in that, the penguin in that, is named Tank, which is funny. The big one, yeah, yeah. And he's always showing his trophies. But anyways, that's it. Uh, Braden, Brian, you got anything? Guillotine. Just be ready. I yeah, can't wait. Good. It's like tonight is actually like Christmas Eve. So I know, like the football, Santa Claus is gonna come down and put little football games in my my stocking. I can't wait. This is great. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow because I have, I got freaking Josh Allen against my Bobby Wagner tomorrow. I want to see if something happens, but it, that's just IDP for you. All right, um, tomorrow we'll be doing uh. Oh my gosh, here we go. What do you got to say, Kadani? Martin Surf Sub is all about Johnny Tsunami, the original Surf's movie. Take care of looking to the, forward to Sunday. Look, oh, well, tomorrow, we're we'll going to be here tomorrow during the day. But stay safe as well. And I love I you mean, too, man. You well, take care, bro. Stay safe. I mean, safe. You're, you're on all the time, Art. I mean, no, you, you are on no, all the dude. time. I, I, you I are on your show. Time. Way more. I'm literally on your show. You got. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, a a a TV show review. You got a movie review. Yeah, you what show trailers you review? On? Okay, uh, and and, and uh, you <laughs> yeah, got your you football on every show because you're here now. <laughs> you got your, your your Bears show. You're you're invading you're invading my show, which I'm okay with. <laughs> Until but Tate comes back, I'm gonna be everywhere, guys. Just like, to know that I have nowhere to this call my home, so I'm just gonna be everywhere. Oh, you're, you're, you're like you the probably, wall. You're the you connected tissue. The fridge. <laughs> you got a little mini fridge right next to you, don't you? Wow. Oh, <laughs> is, it a mini fridge, though? is it a mini fridge, though? That's the thing. Is that uh, it? Yeah. He is. He is. Um, so tomorrow, 
we will be doing a breakdown of Rams and Bills tomorrow. Myself and uh, Mark will be doing our, we're going to go back to our regular lunch hour Thursdays. And then Friday, we'll be talking about the rest of the teams on their schedule. So tune in during that lunch hour, uh, wherever the hell you're at. And then, yes, I, we will be back here Sunday. So on this channel. On yep. this channel. We'll be on this channel, yes. Wow. Yeah, it is not gonna be on the nerd hub anymore. Like like it's 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 legitly on this channel. So uh Brian is everywhere. Nerd Hole is home. <laughs> and we're all nerd. Yes, we're on the nerd hub. Especially you, Tink. That's the guy right there. All right. I'm going to end it before Kadani says something dumb, and I know he's going to make a joke real quick. It's coming. He's already typing it. All right, I'm going to say it before he says it. All right, uh, put that out. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever the hell you guys are at. That's Braden. Thank you, Brian, for coming in. Thank you, Kadani, for making your jokes and making us laugh. Damn boys, you're always here. And, Kurt, and, and Derpy, well, hey, look, best of luck. As long as you tune in, we're going to get you that championship. I promise you that, okay? Uh, and if not, well, then we all take shots for you in the morning the following week just for you yeah but i'm pretty damn sure we've been successful in getting people with them championships so anyways uh that is it and stay tuned in tomorrow during our lunch hour bills rams it's kickoff baby it is legit here all right later guys and so we just did When I aim up, elevating that game up, stepping up to the competition. Only first place, and that's how I'm living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave, eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I watched the other face.